Hello, I'm Kelly and I draw things. Welcome back to another video and I finished my sketchbook today. I thought I finished it last night because I live streamed to do the last three pages, which was really fun. I'm definitely gonna do that again. It was on TikTok, but I was flipping through and I found a blank page in the middle. So I finished it now. I did some sketches for a comic I'm gonna do later today, but I thought I would do a sketchbook tour and show you what's inside. All right, so let us begin. If you hear some kind of rough sounds in the background, it's either my deep freeze or my cat purring on my lap, one of the two. But this is my sketchbook. I always put lots of stickers on the outsides of my sketchbooks, and this was no exception. It's been a long time since I started a new sketchbook, so I had a lot of options. The little Tom's one started to peel off a little bit, but everything else stayed pretty well. I was really pleased, and I liked them. So let's open it up. So it started August 14th, 2022. Uh, I skipped the first page always. <laughs> and I put my contact info in case it's lost. It can get back to me if a nice person finds it. And then I just jumped right in. So here we are, spread number one. And this is kind of faked perspective. It is not right. I just drew it freehand. Um, there is no grid, as you can see, this building kind of twists in space. But I really like all the little details I put in there. So I have like a snail and a worm, and here's a cat, and I love the bee and the buzz all the way through. I think that's something I'd like to incorporate into my comics, perhaps. But then I have like little bike people, and just a little awning and trash can. So this is really fun. I like doing that. This is fan art of Breath of the Wild. I was playing through a little bit. What I'm really doing is I'm waiting for Pikmin 4 <laughs> and Breath of the Wild 2 and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which actually comes out very soon. So, but this was me longing for more Breath of the Wild because I beat it a couple times now. And well, that's a lie. I've beaten it once, fully 100% of the map besides the Korok seeds. But I've like beaten like the story mode a few times. Anyway, it's one of the things that shoots you if you run by it. They're called guardians. And he's like, oh shit, and he's running away. This, I was trying to figure out the layout of a museum and a story I'm working on. And then I was listing out cryptids that I was gonna research. This was gonna be the logo for the museum in the story. And then I was just kind of drawing through whatever was on my Pinterest. I was not feeling super inspired. So I drew a whale shark that I do not like. Um, I like the cat and the pumpkins and stuff. That's pretty nice. And then some little like witchy Halloween stuff because Halloween was coming up. Oh, also, sorry to backtrack. At this rate, I figured out the first page was three, four times as thick as anything else in the sketchbook. And everything else was so thin, it was showing through. And I discovered that in this very uh, distraught TikTok video. And so I decided to maybe just draw on one side of the page and I had ink, which is probably why I got through the sketchbook so fast, but that's okay. So some more Halloween sketches. I really liked the pictures of the ghost people with the sunglasses, and so I had this great idea that I did not finish of doing some sort of like Halloween King drawing or sticker or something where there was a little gap between the socks and the converse and, I mean, the socks and the converse were together and then the gap was between the sheet and where the leg should be, but I never finished it, so <laughs> maybe later on. This was trying to figure out my life and my scheduling. This ended up becoming my Patreon sticker, sorry, Patreon print, and then I turned it to a sticker later for October. This guy ended up becoming a sticker as well. And he holds like a cute little pumpkin in his mouth as well. I added that later on. Some scarecrows, some different kinds of scarecrows. 
he was just kind of generic. This one is from Howl's Moving Castle, and this guy is from The Wizard of Oz. I was thinking of famous scarecrows I knew, and I can only come up with two, so it wasn't as in-depth of the page as I thought it would be. Here I started doing sketches for my Halloween garland that I made available as the printable download for Patreon on October, which was my second garland, and I learned some things from the first one, so it was fun to be able to apply those later on. Some more pumpkin sketches here. I like this little haunted house I did with the little witch at the front. And this girl in a pumpkin dress was kind of fun. I liked her little spindly shoes. Some character design working out for a story I'm working on. This is the cryptid story. This is the original Inktober. And I said not to do it because I didn't like them very much. This is probably hard to see because I did it in metallic pen. I'll sh try to shimmer it, maybe. But this is kind of some cat sketches. One with the wizard hat. And there's also a sandwich. I'm not really sure why, but you know, when in doubt, have a sandwich. This is a sketch I did of Bluey and Bingo from Bluey, which is a children's cartoon that airs on Disney Plus through Disney Junior. Um, some skulls that I did not enjoy. Here we go. So then instead of Inktober, I decided to do Peachtober, which I failed at uh, to get a video on, <laughs> but I got through 16. And so I did some thumbnails for the prompts and then I pivoted, I'll talk about that. So these are some thumbnails for Cave, Dandelion, Cowboy, Tiger, uh, my list of things to do for my convention stuff. I think that was for Savannah Comic Con. Um, some more sketches for Bo, and I really like how that one turned out. And the little T, I like her hair on that one too. Number six was Trees, which I do like a lot of anyway, but coming back, I, I like a few of these. I might pull these out for later drawings. Number seven was Potion, which ended up being really close to this one, and I like doing all the little studies around it. That was fun. Eight, I thought was Match, but then it ended up being Mask because I read the wrong prompt list. That's why the other Inktober was X'd out because I started going off that one by accident. <laughs> So I did match, and it was lighting pumpkins on the porch uh, for jack-o'-lanterns on Halloween. And the mask ended up being, like, on your face. This is boulder, and I thought of donkey, a shrek. You know, that's a nice boulder. And then I thought of some, like, zen stuff. Lantern was this really interesting, like, red riding hood, spirally lighting thing. And then, I don't know what that is. Um, looks like things I needed to do. Oh, cool. So, this was a request for Patreon. I actually did a whole video on that too, and I talked about some Patreon tips and tricks that I learned along the way in the past little bit I've had my Patreon. And this turned out, it was very nice. It made me feel really good about what I was doing. And so I ended up using this inspiration for all of my Inktober, actually, but it's a lot of mixed media. In that video that I did, it shows you the whole process. You can see what mar markers I used and stuff, but it was fun. This was my sketchbook um, entry for the Art Club for Adventure. And I liked it because he is eating a sandwich, but he's a little unsure about this bird who really wants his sandwich. Uh, but I always like floating islands. And this was using a Posca marker for the whole background, but leaving a lot of this chatter, which means like it wasn't filled in 100%. And I really liked how that turned out. I ended up taking it into Photoshop and like making it a solid color, but I thought it was cool. And here we started Inktober. So the first one was Cave. Dandelion, Cowboy, Tiger, later there's a tail prompt, I wish I'd saved that idea, but that's okay, that's what I get for not working ahead, I guess. 
Oh, and then bow, I did some thumbnails and I switched it from a hair bow to like bow and arrow. I like that one a lot. That was one of my favorites. Tree. Potions. Some more brainstorming. I did mask. They're, they're raccoons. I was using all of them, right? And or all of them had the raccoons in them. And I was like, we well, already has a mask, so maybe it'd be funny if he found one anyway. Zen. Definitely Naruto sage mode inspired um, pose and the birds there. But this ended up being the inspiration for my free background in my shop for November. Lantern. Um, I don't remember what that one is. What was it? Let's, let's look back at the, the list. Oh, field. Okay. I really like this texture I did. I did it on a previous sticker of kind of a fancy looking cat, which we then named Duke Von Meow Meow. But I like doing this kind of darker color and then this light hatching on top of it. I thought that was a nice technique. So I used it again here. And then it was lava it was the 12th prompt. And I had no idea what I was doing, but I ended up going like school lava. And that was fun. One of the raccoons is always like causing trouble unintentionally. So that fit. Tail is this one, which it could have been any of them really, because they all have tails, but I put him playing a Game Boy Color. This was town. This ended up being kind of a practice run for my November Patreon print. I had done a thumbnail in a previous sketchbook. If you go back and watch the previous sketchbook tour, it's in there, I believe. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a practice round. And I like this one quite a bit. I do like the one I made, but I do like this gap with the clothes and the fence. I think including that in the November print would have been wise, but I'll just have to remember that for next time. Um, Shell, I think, was <laughs> the inspiration for that one and then chest or treasure one of the two was for this one and they're stealing the treasure chest from their friend and then I was just doing some TikTok video brainstorming I started doing thumbnails for a new tier on my patreon called outlaw sticker club and i finished it in november i made it live but this was the beginning of that i wasn't quite sure if i wanted him to be holding a bunch of stickers but I ended up going with a cowboy with stickers on his hat and i love him i think he's perfect this are <laughs> well these two um oh that was planning my november newsletter which i send out a newsletter each month and it goes to my just email mailing list that people can sign up through on my website. But uh, I didn't have a lot to go in that <laughs> newsletter, except for Patreon stuff. But that was the planning. Here, there was a really cute video I did with a filter on TikTok and it shows you your partner Pokemon. And mine came up as Mew, which was wild. So I saved it for a long time and then I finished it and I did a sketch here and then I took it into digital and finished it out. And it was cute. I did flip it by accident. So it makes me look, look, look like I'm left-handed because I ink backwards and most of the time I forget to flip it back the other way. So left-handed Kelly exists in the Pokemon world, but that's fine. I started sketching for Cozy for the art prompt for Art Club this month and I didn't like where this was going. I do a lot of libraries and I wanted to do like a little more of a story, but it didn't turn into cozy. It turned into like research. So I pivoted and I thought about like a cozy book and blanket fort and some snow outside and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing for art club for this month. This was the page I ended up skipping by accident. So I came back and I did some <laughs> comic sketches. That'll be for a comic for later on in November. And then this was where my live stream started, which was so much fun. I've never live streamed before, it was my first one. And I just told them to help me fill my sketchbook with cats. And they gave me different examples of cats. I had, the first one was The Cat Returns, which is a uh, anime movie, I believe by Studio Ghibli. And 
or it's at least Miyazaki related. And I didn't remember what he looked like. I did this from memory. If I look it up, I'm sure it's nowhere close, but I knew he had some sort of hat. Then bow tie hat, frog cat, which was hard. He didn't really look much like a frog until I colored him green. I put him on a lily pad for, you know, like in um, context, I guess is the word. Anyway, I did a space cat. I've done a lot of space cats. Um, so this one, I've had some practice, but I liked how I made him holding the planet this time. I thought that was cute. Someone said a mouse cat, so I put the cat in a onesie and I gave him a giant and a cheese. Someone said Tom from Tom and Jerry, and the only thing I can remember from Tom and Jerry was he golfed one time. I mean, I remember little bits and pieces, but again, from memory, I don't think his coloring is right, but I gave him some band-aids and some bandages because he's all beat up, and Jerry's just hanging out here. Cat with a flower hat, I made her, like, going to the Kentucky Derby, like, she's all fancy with her little opera glasses. Skate Cat was fun. I liked him. I did end up using reference for him. I looked it up for a pose because that's kind of hard to just pull out of your head. Robo Cat is kind of a cyborg. That was fun. Chef Cat has a pizza with fish on it. Chicken Cat is weird, but I like him. I think he's funny. And then Swimming Cat is just happy to hang out. He's doing his best. And that is the sketchbook. Get to the back cover with my stickers. And it's finished. Oh, and I finished it November 12th. There we go. November 12th, 2020. And I started it August 14th, 2020. So August, September, October, November. Four months. Not great, but not bad. I'm glad I finished it before the end of the year. So, yay, sketchbook. And that is my sketchbook tour. And I have my new one ready to go. I put stickers on it already. Um... I went shopping for stickers the last few conventions because I didn't have any because I used them all up on this guy. I had a few, but not in any ones that I was like super in love with. So excited for this one. I have not started it. I did put my name in the front for if I lose it, but I'm gonna do that today. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> but overall, it was a good sketchbook. I liked it. I like doing my Inktober in it. I think it made it less stressful. And I like the square format. I think that was fun. That's why I made my next sketchbook also square. It's a little smaller, so I think I'll get through a little faster, but it's like so many more pages. Look at that. And I think the paper is like thicker paper. I mean, yeah, paper's thicker paper, so I can draw on both sides. So this will take me a lot longer, I bet. Um, in my head, I just had the idea to try to do a sketchbook page every single day, fill a page. But I have this really awful habit of per making fun stuff turn into work, and that sounds like what that's doing, so I'm trying to avoid that. So we'll see. I did like going live at the end of that last sketchbook. That was really fun, so I think I'll do it again for this one. Maybe not in the same like format, but definitely some like community interaction. That was really fun. Maybe I'll do some Pokemon from the new game when it comes out. That'll be good. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for my patrons for supporting me and being able to help me create these videos. You're awesome. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of this video, you like something, so you might as well subscribe while you're here. <laughs> uh, I do have a big backlog of videos on Patreon. Patreon videos are patron exclusive for six months and then they become public. And then I'm playing around with the idea of making some public videos in real time, but we'll see how much time I have <laughs> at the end of the year. Holiday seasons are busy, but thanks and have a good day. Uh, make good choices. <laughs> Bye.